Hello everybody and welcome to City Skylines. This game has been one of my favorite city building games for quite a while. I've dabbled on and off with this game for a couple of years now. I own every expansion except for the disasters because I have enough disasters as it is without the game adding to it. Um, I do not use any mods. I do play on a computer, so mods are available to me. However, I find that uh, they kind of mess up my game, and my computer doesn't run real well when I use them, so uh, I try not to use them. Um, if, if it comes down to it down the road, and I've, you know, I've got this city, and there's just nothing that I can do to fix it or something, I, maybe I'll have to look into it. I start my, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, I start my cities uh, with the monies allowed in the budget. I don't play with unlimited monies, uh, mainly because the challenge for me is in being to, able to actually build a city, even if it takes a little bit longer, because I cannot lay out the whole map initially. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. So when you first open up the game, uh, you have to choose a, a city area to build on and you do have access to expand. Now initially this is going to be, uh, I'm going to change the name here if I can. We're going to call it Spring Valley. Okay. Um, the reason that um, I changed the name is I don't want to keep the original game name that the game gives us, so we're going to try it this way. This plot of land is what's available initially, and as our population goes up and we make money and our city grows, we can add on in all directions. So to get started initially, you have to place down a small piece of road this is our entrance way here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just put down a piece of road it doesn't really matter um, and then I'm gonna delete it and what that does is it unlocks the other types that are available at this time um, I'm gonna go over here to our water source and before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and set up my, my water and my electricity and get the roads to that. Now this is the water pumping station. This will be the water that, that the citizens actually drink. So we want to make sure that that's going to be upstream from the sewer. So we're going to place him there and then the sewer, the, the water drain pipe we're going to set that over here. We're going to connect the two with piping. And I do have the game on pause for now. So we're going to leave that set up. And then the entrance is here. Now it's a little bit away from there, which is, that's okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and get our two-lane road going. I will be changing this particular setup that I have. They do offer you roundabouts, which is here, which I may go ahead and use because it's probably going to be cheaper. So we're going to set that down. And then we're going to go back to our roads. We want the one-way roads. We want this one to come in there. And we want this one to go out there. Okay, so all of our traffic coming in will come down, go around the roundabout, and shoot off into whatever direction they want. Now since we put the water down there, I'm going to go ahead and send the road straight that way for a little ways through the forest like so 
Now, one of the ways that I like to build the cities is I don't like to put anything on the main road. Now, this is not a huge road right now, but down the line, it may become a little crowded. So, I need to start for the with the uh, electrical. So we're going to go ahead and have this offshoot here. And we're going to put our electrical coal power plant down. We're going to stick him right there. The water lines that we built need to come down the road. As of right now, we don't need to go much further just yet. Um, we're going to go ahead and leave that there. And then we do have to supply the actual power to those. They do not need road access, but the power plant does need road access. And then if we unpause it, Probably not going to get a whole lot of traffic coming in just yet. Um, I do want to go ahead and extend the piping down just a little ways because we have to have a commercial street. Now, initially, this is going to be very small. It takes a while to build up uh, to your city. Uh, so initially we are going to have a small community um, off the main road. So that is one of my main roads which will probably get upgraded at some point. And for now uh, we're just going to add some streets housing because we do want to get our housing going okay we're gonna go ahead and leave the housing at that so we'll get our water Okay. Now zoning is real easy. All you have to do is just pick. This doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost a zone. And I know uh, I'm going to probably fill this in, but initially what I like to do is start off very small. So I will put a couple of streets that actually are one tile homes and then the next street I'm going to do two tile homes. Now I will put homes side by side but initially I want them to build out this way we'll get some you know a little bit of a, a variety going on because when you have a new city you're not going to have a whole bunch of really rich people moving in right away and big old lots and everybody has two-story homes and you know it's all fancy so this is just the way that I like to start we're already getting some people moving in And we have to leave, you have to leave open on the ends because you want to make sure that you can uh, expand. Now we don't have any electricity, so we need to get that going. And what I wanted to do was put up some commercial here. And this commercial will be all along this way. And that's going to help with the electric because we're going to set that there, bring that 
there. Hopefully. Something will build in. Until then, maybe we, we can always delete it. We're gonna go ahead and extend that there so the houses can get their can get their power. They're actually quite charming. So we've got our basics in. We've got our water, our power, a little bit of commercial zoning, and our residential is starting. So I am going to stop the introduction there. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.